Hello everyone and welcome to Barcelona for the season finale of the International GT Open. Championship wise it is still all to play for. The car behind me, the number 59 of Miguel Ramos and Enrique Chavez, they lead the way by eight points over the number 17 of Vincent Abril and Louis Pret with the TF Sport Aston Martin of Charlie Eastwood and Sally Ulick a further 12 points back. However, when we bring drop scores into play, the top two are dead level on points. So it's set to be a cracking finale here to the International GT Open here at Barcelona. Well, where do we start with this one? It had so much action. Race of the season got underway with Charlie Eastwood leading the way out front. We saw Charlie Eastwood under pressure from the Ferrari of Vincent Abreu as they made their way in towards turn number one. Oli Milroy got third, snatching it away from Christian Klein. A race that had many troubles was the number four, the Golden Lambo, and unfortunately that would be the first of three spins, two of them bringing out safety cars on the first safety car restart. A very good restart from our top three, a back marker caused uh, Ramos to be delayed and further troubles from him. He was one wide at the start of the restart and lose three more positions. One of the moves of the race, Joe Osborne diving down the inside there of Fabrizio Castani and would do many more on his route to the win. This was the second of the spins, that one bringing out a further safety car. And on the restart, Sally Ulick absolutely nailed it, but Brendan Eri diving down the inside, catching all of us out, Sally included, and he would go through to take the lead of the race as Louis Brett fought hard with Ulick. He would lose time and positions, and that would open up the race dramatically. Out front, we had uh, our championship rivals coming together, side-by-side -side contact there as Louis Pret went past Enrique Chavez. A huge moment in the race that could be pivotal as Pret and Abril now lead after drop scores. But the two Optima Motorsport cars fought tooth and nail. Brendan Eri holding off Joe Osborne for a number of laps, but sadly, things would end dramatically for him after he had a spin down at turn number one and would eventually finish in 10th place there. You can see the stricken Eri car, a real disappointment, but he put in a very good performance. Out front though, Optima Motorsport Sport on the top step once again and Joe Osborne would bring the car and he and Nick Moss taking their first overall victory and their third overall podium. The start was pretty, I didn't make any places up but it was nice and tight and it was clean and everybody was pretty sensible actually although it, it appeared like it was going to be a bit more sort of frantic than it than it actually transpired to be so it was pretty it was pretty it was pretty cool and then obviously the, everything stretched out then the safety car and then my job was done really I kind of just chucked in the keys and all the exciting part was in his bit. And then it was total craziness in the, in the second stint, but uh, you made it. Yeah, yeah, I think craziness is the, the best adjective to use, and I'm sure the TV looked crazy, but in the car it felt genuinely crazy. It was hard, but for everything I saw, it was fair, so congratulations to everyone I was around. And uh, honestly, I've never seen a performance like Brendan had out there, so racing hard with uh, a teammate, a sister is always difficult, but he gave really hard and really fair, and uh, yeah, just thank you for Optimum. It's a shame we didn't get the one-two, but uh, we got one race tomorrow to rectify that. Let's start this story from the very beginning of the final race. It was the Ferrari with Louis Pretz that would lead us down towards turn number one. They, in a fierce battle, win a winner-takes-all scenario with Enrique Chavez. Enrique Chavez would pull to the right of screen. Louis Pretz getting a little bit wrong under braking. He would be forced to run straight on, and Enrique Chavez would go through and help himself to the race lead. It seemed Alan Coder in the second McLaren could take second place, but in the end, Pret would hold on. This was a, one of the best moves we saw in GT Cup Open Europe. Rafael Villanueva down the inside. Daniel Diaz Varela in the white and blue tried to make it hard for him in that Audi, but couldn't quite stop him from going through. Out of Estante would pull a gap. Meanwhile, with all the overtaking going on behind. Pit stops then happened in the race. This was the moment Vincent Abreu got in the car. He had an 18 second gap to chase to Miguel Ramos. Eastwood was fighting with Yannick Mettler. Eventually he would get through and go into sixth and eventually take the win. He still continued to pick off people though. It wasn't an easy run for him. That was when he got past Mar Marcelo Hahn. The Honda would be a few laps later. Hahn would like to forget about that moment, almost costing him the championship, but he would get going and finish inside the top five. It ended in dramatic circumstances on the penultimate lap. 
Abril and Abril going into the back of Miguel Ramos there. Miguel Ramos in the gravel. He would lose out to the TF Sport Cup, who would come through and they would eventually go on to win the race. Charlie East with a new look on the top step of the podium and that for the third time this season. I had a bit of a lonely race really, I thought I made up some space in the first uh, at the start but then I mean uh, we got a bit of tangling with, with a few cars in the first corner so I lost those positions back and from there it was a it was a lonely race for me. And yeah, and then Charlie got in and did some nice overtaking moves and with a bit of luck as well we won, happy. And Charlie of course quite uh, some action in the, at the end. Yeah, it was... Um, with the with the changeover in Pro de Am, I seemed to pass. It felt like every car on the grid at some point, and yeah, obviously there was a massive championship battle up ahead, and and we knew all we could do was try and finish the season with a win, and and we did. So uh, yeah, quite a confusing end to it, but uh, as long as we're at the top step.